finally, exactly as predicted, Bitcoin started to go up and reverse the price action after an MRI top. That retracement lasted for four days in a row as the textbook maneuver of the MRI indicator. And now we are going up again, trying to test the 48,000. This and much more coming your way. Stay tuned. The podcast is about to begin. Hello guys, welcome to another FU Money. Today is Friday, almost the end of the week and the candle looks very good. It's on the green now and we are about to test the $48,000 line of resistance again, but nothing like going to the charts and checking what's going on. So let's go to the charts. So we start as usual with the price to time model. And for now we have five weeks on the green. So let's zoom in a bit here and you guys can see it. We have one, two, three, four, five weeks on the green for the last three weeks. We have been above the 20 week SMA, the green line here on the screen. And we are uh, every day more closer to the 2017 cycle. The distance between the two cycles is very, very short, but we still have a long way to go if we expect to have another top soon or by the end of the year, probably the beginning of next year. So let's see how that goes. But for now, the price to time model has no problems whatsoever. So I really like to look at it and, uh, in fact, the RSI on the weekly, as you guys know, this is a weekly chart for the price to time model. Also, the RSI looks good. We continue to go up and we'll just this slight curve here. We have a slight curve on the peak of the RSI. So this corresponds, of course, uh, to the resistance of the 48K, which is not, not easy, really not easy to overcome. As I said many, many times in the past, in, in uh, other videos, that I've recorded already. I said it many times, the $48,000 will be the resistance to break and this is a very strong one. So let's see how that evolves, but regarding the price of time model for now, everything's still on track and let's see where this will take us. So if we go here to the MRI strategy, let me just pull up the weekly chart and the weekly chart, as you guys can see, we have a fifth candle on the green in a row. So we are now on a green five of nine count. And this candle here, which retraced a lot already and now is going back up again for a new retest of the $48,000 resistance. As you guys can see also by the chart, this resistance is a very strong one because we had several times, several weeks of support found around the 48 to 51K and this is one, two, three, four, five, and six. So we have at least six big, big candles at the top that found support around the $48,000 before breaking to the downside and taking us for this 56% correction we had recently. So right now, uh, in my opinion, if we, as I said also, those three items that I would love to see fulfilled in order to decide if this is a dead cat bounce or not. One of them is closed already. This was this candle that had to close above 46 and a half thousand to 47, which actually closed around 47,000. The second one is the candle next to it, which is the week we are currently in that should also close on the green. And for that to happen, we have to close this candle at least above $47,100. And the third one, which if this one is achieved, closing this candle on the green, the third one will not be verifiable because the third one was not to break the 20 week SMA on a linear chart. So I'm working here on linear chart. I'm not using the log. I, I use only log in big, big, big uh, uh, outlooks of the chart. Like for example, the chart I have 
that contains the price of Bitcoin since 2010 to today and also the price to time model. I use the log chart on those because there are so big time spans that you need the log chart to see the complete price action on the screen. But for the um, shorter time frame analysis, which would be the monthly or weekly or daily, I prefer to use the linear chart. And in this case, the linear chart uh, 20 period SMA, which is the weekly in this case, could not or sh uh, should not be broken to the downside if we want to consider this not the dead cat bounce. So in this case, I really, really love the weekly chart right now. We have another candle on the green for this week. And if we close this candle on the green, uh, starting at 1 a.m. Monday, coming Monday, Portuguese time, of course, this will, I will definitely say that this is not a dead cat bounce and we probably might test the $48,000 resistance to the upside, to break it to the upside and have a continuation of a bull run, which is the second leg of this bull cycle. In my opinion, as you guys know, and I've been saying this for a long time already, this bull cycle looks very much like the one 2013, which had a local top in the middle and then a continuation to the final top of that bull cycle in the uh, last days of 2013. So, having that in mind, uh, we have to keep a look at this candle here. This candle will tell us if by the end of the week, when the week closes, this will be green and then we might consider this the start of the continuation of the bull cycle or not. So we have to be very, very careful because breaking the $48,000 resistance will not be easy. But if we do it and find support on the 48,000 again or 49 or 50, if we find support after breaking this big resistance that goes from 48 to 51 and then finding support, that means that the resistance is finally broken and is now support. So a continuation to the upside is expected unless we cannot break the $48,000 resistance and we might have to come down again and probably find support on the 20 period SMA on the weekly chart. So those are the possibilities that I have in mind right now for you guys. Of course, that my personal opinion is that if we break the 48 and go above 50 or 51 and then come back down again for support, this is the continuation of the bull cycle. And of course, we should expect a few retracements along the way. But for now, this resistance would be broken and uh, the confirmation of the second leg of the bull cycle would be in order. So um, this is my opinion looking at the weekly chart, of course. So we have to wait a few more days. We have to see how the weekend will go. And during the weekend, you guys know already that sometimes it, uh, um, it's very easy for Bitcoin to go up. Also, other times it's very easy to have a big crash. So let's see how the weekend goes. We can start this evening and will end by the close of this weekly candle that everyone is expecting to be closed on the green or at least at least if that fails we cannot break the 20 period sma to the downside that would be a very very bearish sign for bitcoin right now so let's see how this goes i see that the prices are increasing since i started to record the video this morning we were around 40, sorry, $47,000. We are now almost 48 and Bitcoin continues to go up. So that is a very, very good sign of what might uh, be coming. So the RSI, the RSI continues to go up, slightly curve uh, to be leveled here. So the steepness is not so high as it was just a week before. However, this is due to the first attempt to break the 48000 resistance and now we are going to we are going to have the second try and let's see how that goes so the rsi of course it's going a bit of sideways right now just waiting for that resistance to be broken the macd macd finally we have the blue line above the orange and we have a first green bar here so this is a very 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 good indication that the bulls are still in control and looking at the weekly chart, 
I really like the structure of the indicators. So the MACD is right now uh, having the blue line crossing above the orange. We have a first green bar that is very, very good. As you guys know, this is on the weekly chart. The weekly chart takes a long time to update because the MACD is a laggy indicator. But right now we are finally having a green bar and the blue line above the orange. So guys, the weekly chart looks very, very good in my opinion, but let's take a look at the daily chart and see what's happening. So here we are trying to break the $48,000 resistance again. This is the second attempt to break it. Well, I will not count this one here as an attempt because this is the one to four candle correction that was expected already from the MRI top. And of course, uh, considering this one of the retracement candles of the one to four candle correction, I will not consider that one an attempt. So we had one attempt to break the 48,000. And now we are again for the second time trying to break the 48,000. After finding support on the 20 period SMA on the daily chart and having a really nice reversal of the price action just after the one to four candle correction as the MRI says it should be. So the MRI has been a very, very accurate indicator uh, all this time, indicating here an MRI top, one to four candle correction, then an MRI top again, one to four candle correction, and now we are going for the second try at the 48,000 level. So let's see how that goes. The daily chart also looks very, very good. We finally broke above the 200 period SMA, which is the purple line here on the screen. And you guys can see that we are now above it and going for the second time for that resistance. So let's see if Bitcoin can conquer the hill, which will be a very, very good sign for the weekend just coming. So the daily chart looks good. Let's take a look at the four hours and see what's happening here. When I started to record this video, this bar was not like that. We were still trying to beat the 47,200. And now while I was recording the video and I didn't have have the chance to catch up and buy some more Bitcoin, but I will see what happens after I finish this recording. Uh, I will see what is happening here and try to see if it's good or not. Uh, so I will not say it yet, but as soon as we start to break the 48,000, I will evaluate if it's a good opportunity to buy this breakout and to accumulate some more Bitcoin. Of course, guys, tomorrow you will have the live stream so during the live stream, I will, of course, uh, evaluate this option. And tomorrow I will tell you guys what I have done or not. But you, you guys also should consider by yourselves what you should do right now. You guys know, of course, that the breakout of a major resistance is always a very good um, entry. But we are overextended in the context channel. So beware of that. We might be breaking this and still be a fake out. So you have to consider all the options and the risk. So be careful if you try to buy the breakout and this turns out to be a fake out and we come back down. So be prepared for that. The BitMEX funding rate is not very good, not very good. So this is the first signal here that I see, which I don't like. And the BitMEX funding rate is overextended already. So we are around 0 0.07 uh, with the premium very extended to the upside here and the blue area is around 0 0.02. So I don't like this, this favors the bears. Uh, there's a lot of people already over leveraging this move up of Bitcoin. And you guys know that when leverage is overextended or starts to be big, you guys know what happens, but we are still below the red threshold. So let's see how that goes. I guess in the next few hours and during the weekend, we will know more for sure. So that's it for the four hours. Let's take a look here at the pro indicators framework. We haven't seen it for some time already. So right now, exactly as the indicator uh, predicted, we had a blue triangle at the bottom of the trend channel and we started to go up again. So we are now a bit above the medium line, the, 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 the medium line of this trend channel, which is the zigzag green and zigzag red. And we are now inside the resistance context, which is the gray box around here, where you guys, I will zoom in a bit for you guys to see it better. So the trend channel, red and green zigzags, the resistance context is this gray box 
and this is the four hour chart. So of course on the four hour chart, we are already testing the resistance and the $48,000 is very, very strong. But you guys had this indication here, the blue triangle was a buy signal and it matched almost perfectly with the bottom of the trend channel. So that was a very, very good indication to buy more Bitcoin here and now wait for the developments to see if we are going to be rejected around the 49,600, which is the top of this trend channel. And the context. So there are very, very strong resistances here. You have the top of the trend channel and you have the resistance context all at the same time and the 48,000 line level. So it's very, very hard for Bitcoin to break this, but I guess with uh two or more attempts or tries at breaking this resistance we will achieve that goal so that's it for the price uh sorry for the pro indicators uh strategy and we are now going to look at the dollar and for fuck's sake what is happening with the dollar I don't like the dollar breaking this uh, last swing high resistance and we are now above it. And it's amazing how the dollar keeps going up and Bitcoin also keeps going up. So uh, there's a big fight going on here. I guess a lot of people still believe the dollar will um, continue to be printed and not have inflation. But let's see how that goes. And that makes me curious to see what gold is doing. So gold is struggling to come back above the trend line. Of course, the dollar going up, of course, means that people are uh, believing more in the dollar than in gold to fight or hedge the hyperinflation that everyone is expecting. So let's see how that goes here. Uh, but I see gold having some trouble to get above the trend line again. And one of those uh, reasons might be this rise on the dollar. So let's see how that goes. We still have the top of the MRI indicator here saying that this will be really heavy resistance. And let's see how the dollar behaves if it goes to that level there. So that's it. And gold, it's also done. So let's see the S&P. The S&P finally giving some signals that this was overextended already. Four MRI tops and it still continues to go up. But now we are finally seeing a small retracement. I would not keep my positions. If I was invested into the S&P, I would not keep my positions during the weekend because no one knows what's going to, uh, to happen on Monday when the markets open, if the S&P will still trying to go up or finally coming back down to try to find support around the 20 period SMA or even the 50 period SMA. But that would be a very big drop for the S&P. So I'm betting that probably at least we will see a retracement of the S&P to try to touch or find support here at the 20 period SMA, the green line on the screen. So after so many MRI tops, finally we start to see again the S&P retracing. And we had an MRI top two weeks ago. Now, the previous week, we had an A extension of the MRI. And now, finally, the S&P is losing ground. So let's see how that evolves. I would not keep my positions during the weekend. I would sell today. And if continuation to the upside starts on Monday, then reevaluate if I would get back into the market. But you guys know better. You guys should think by yourselves. And this is not financial advice. I'm just saying what I would do. But if you guys are invested into the S&P, you have to decide what to do by yourselves. Now, the final chart, and this is the one that I've been studying every day since the uh, reversal of the price action started around the 21st of July. And I said several times that this is the most important trend line. This is the most important trend line of your lives. This red line here is the trend line to beat if we want Bitcoin to continue the second leg up to the bull cycle and to the final top of this bull cycle, this is the trend line to beat and this is the trend line to make support if we have a retracement again. So we are now going for the second attempt at the $48,000 resistance and this white trend line shows how much the bulls are in control of the situation. I always said, 
If we break this trend line to the downside, the biggest probability is that we are going to lose the controls of the bulls and we will have to find support around the green area that starts from 42,000 to 38,000, but always above this red trend line. Always above this red trend line. This is the most important line of our lives right now. This is the support that cannot be broken to the downside. Also in conjunction with the 20 period SMA on the weekly chart, I would say. But this one here, I consider even more important because this was the trend line to beat when we were really, really down here after a 56% correction. And then to go up, we would have to break this trend line, which was also very hard, but we broke it and we are now attempting to break the 48,000 for the second time. So guys, keep in mind, above the red trend line and above the white trend line, that will be amazing. That is the best position for Bitcoin right now. Above the white trend line means the bulls are in control. Above the red trend line means that we have continuation for the second leg of the bull cycle. So keep this in mind. This is a very important chart to me. I'm always looking at this chart every day and seeing what's happening. So as you guys know, we have been below this white trend line just for two days, but now we are again going up and beating all the odds. So let's see how this fight goes against the $48,000 resistance. And of course, tomorrow during the live stream, we will discuss it live and with all the questions you want to ask me. So I hope that this was a help. Uh, this was helpful for you guys to see what's going on right now in the markets. This was just a short update of Friday. Don't forget, tomorrow we have the uh, tomorrow we have the live stream, and of course, you will have the opportunity to ask me anything you want to ask. So be ready tomorrow around 3 p.m. Portuguese time. You will be joining the live stream if you want, of course, and we can discuss all matters Bitcoin. So. Uh, right now, just to summarize, we are again reversing the price action where I was expecting to have a reversal, which was around the $44,000, $43,900 maybe. This was the bottom for this retracement of the MRI top. And we are now again going for the $48,000 resistance to try to break it for the second time. And let's see how that goes. If we have another retracement or if we are able to break that line once and for all and uh, get above the 48 to 51, which is the area I believe is the strongest resistance, 48,000 to $51,000. This is the area of the biggest resistance that we have right now to break. So let's see how that goes during the weekend. Guys, beware of your positions, beware of the markets and stay focused on those signals that we discussed today. But right now, as usual, I will leave you guys with the wise words. Before the wise words, before I even forget, let me just show you guys here on the screen. This is the link for the Telegram group. So if you guys want to discuss with me and all the uh, supporters and followers of the channel, you can join our Telegram group by using this link down here on the screen. Uh, so just use it if you would like to join us there and discuss Bitcoin and other things, of course. So that's it for today. And before we leave, I will, as usual, leave you guys with the wise words. All right, let's roll. Hey, let's be careful out there. That's it, guys. Let's be really careful out there in the markets. And I will see you all tomorrow in the live stream at 3 p.m. Portuguese time. Until then. Bye-bye.